Let's begin at the documentation for the Unified Dashboards and Reporting for Infrastructure Management Solution. Scroll down to the Solution Steps section, look at item number 3, and click on Add CAUIM to be directed to the information covered in this video. So let's start by taking a look at this diagram that shows the process to implement the Unified Dashboards and Reporting for Infrastructure Management Solution for CAUIM. I'll walk through each of the highlighted tasks in the diagram, but first, let's examine a couple of the prerequisites. Version 8.5.1 of CAUIM is required. These highlighted packages are a requirement, and note that the required version of the UMP underscore CABI probe is 3.2. If the Install Packages tab shows an earlier version is installed, then the optional step of the implementation process must be completed to install the 3.2 version. And this highlighted package is also a requirement, so I'll download the latest versions of these packages to the local archive prior to beginning the implementation. The first step will be to deploy the CABI external probe. We'll use the Admin Console to deploy the probe. Next, deploy the probe on the UMP server. And then check the status of the deployed probe. As you can see, the current status of the probe is stopped. This is normal for a newly deployed CABI external probe. Let's check the log messages to confirm the error message matches what is expected. The log message confirms the probe could not start due to an issue with the configuration. So let's correct the probe configuration. The CABI URL and CABI web app name key values need to be updated to match the shared CABI server. First, we'll update the CABI URL key value. Then we'll update the CABI web app name key value. An error message will occur when the update button is clicked, and that's the expected result. So now let's restart the robot to activate the updated configuration settings and correct the probe error condition. To close the raw configure dialog, click the cancel button. The updated configuration settings have been saved through and will be retained. Now the UMP server robot can be restarted. The UMP server robot restart is complete. And again, let's examine the CABI external probe log to verify that it started correctly. The message that indicates the user synchronization finished between UIM and CABI confirms that the CABI external probe is configured correctly and connected to the shared CABI server. Next, let's take a look at the Installed Packages tab to verify the CABI external probe deployment is complete. As expected, the CABI external 3.2 package appears in the list of install packages. Notice that the UIM Core Dashboards Pack package was also installed. When we deployed the CABI External Pro package, its deployment included the deployment of the UIM Core Dashboards Pack package. However, the UMP CABI 3.2 package has not been installed as it is showing version 2.0. This means that we'll need to do the last optional step of the implementation process to update this package to the 3.2 version. But let's wait to complete this optional step after we complete the next implementation step. The next step is to configure the CABI server for CAUIM. In this step, we'll copy a JAR file from the UMP server to the CABI server and then run the installer. We need to switch to the CABI server machine to complete this step. We are now in the CABI server machine and we'll use Windows Explorer to copy the JAR file from the UMP server to the CABI server.
The JARA file is located on the UMP server machine in the CABI external probe bin folder. Now copy the JAR file to the CA Business Intelligence folder on the CABI server machine. From here, open a command window and run the installer. But first we need to change to the CA Business Intelligence directory. And now run the installer. The JAR file installation was successful, so now let's restart CABI services to complete the JAR file installation process. The CABI services have been restarted. Let's open the CA Business Intelligence user interface and verify that the expected objects are present. The installation should have created a UIM organization, added default users to the new organization, and loaded dashboards and other objects to the repository. First, let's verify that the new organization was added. The UIM organization is present. Next, we'll verify the default users were created. Here, we can see that an administrator user was created for the UIM organization. The last step is to verify that the UIM dashboards and other UIM objects were added to the repository. The UIM dashboards are present. Other objects were also added by the JAR file installation. It looks like we're ready to continue with the implementation process. I had mentioned during our earlier look at the installed packages list that version 2.0 of the UMP CABI package was included in the package and is what has been installed. But since Unified CABI for UIM requires version 3.2 of this package, we'll install and update it now. So now we can see that the package installation succeeded. We'll now verify that the associated probes restarted. The WASP probe is restarting automatically due to the UMP CABI package installation, but we'll need to wait for the startup to complete before continuing. Now that the WASP probe is running, we can switch to the UMP and verify that the CABI dashboards are available. Let's begin by accessing the summary dashboard. This error is mentioned in the documentation and can occur when the UMP CABI package is updated. It's easily corrected using the page preference settings, so let's make the correction. To correct the page, locate and select the summary dashboard in the dashboard path drop-down list. The dashboard path now correctly points to the summary dashboard. Be sure to save the updated page preferences. To verify the page preference settings are correct, click the Return to Full Page button. The summary dashboard now opens correctly. The implementation of Unified CABI for CAUIM was a success. For more detailed information about how to integrate CAUIM with CABI Jasper Reports Server for the Unified Dashboards and Reporting for Infrastructure Management solution, click the Information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page. From there, you can go to product documentation, visit the CA communities, or see the learning path.